Hello and welcome to Solent Sports Pulse News. On the 29th of April, Solent men's football team will walk out behind me onto the hallowed turf of St Mary's. Here, Ronald Koeman's side have delighted in the Premier League this season, whilst Jim Taylor's players have excelled themselves with an impressive run of results. To earn a place at St Mary's, Solent have kept three clean sheets in four matches, including a 3-0 victory over AFC Stoneham in the semi-final. Scoring 21 goals along the way, Team Solent have fully deserved their chance to play in the 32,000-seater stadium. Having set the benchmark so far in the competition, Solent are firmly in the driving seat for the final. Here is our reporter, Sam Fletcher, with more on the story. In little over a month's time, former Spurs player Jesse Lassen will lead out Team Solent at the home of Southampton Football Club. Whilst many of the squad have never played at a professional ground, Lassen is accustomed to Premier League surroundings, having learnt his trade with Tottenham. From the age of about 15 I joined the Spurs Academy, um, had two years just as a, as a schoolboy playing there and then managed to get myself a scholarship, full-time scholarship for two years um, and then had a one-year pro. Uh, got released after my one-year pro and went to Bishop Stortford who were playing in the Conference North at the time. Played that for a year, didn't really enjoy it so now I'm playing at Solent Uni. Lassen isn't the only Solent player with Premier League pedigree. Sam Biles, who played in the same team as Jack Wilshire at the Arsenal Academy, is amongst a handful with pro club experience. Me and Sam, knowing the culture of what it's like at pro clubs, we try and bring the standard up a bit more, so try and make it a bit more of a professional environment and make training really competitive, and we try to try to bring that to it. You play at the first team stadiums, so he's played at, um, I think he played at Highbury, I played at White Hart Lane, so it's, it's nice that we've sort of had that experience playing at big grounds and um, hopefully yeah, it can only help us in the final. Lassen has visited St Mary's as a spectator already this season and has been impressed by the quality of the stadium. I actually went to uh, the Spurs on the 21s played uh, Southampton uh, a couple of weeks back, I think it was about three weeks ago and it was a 0-0 draw but we uh, managed to go to the stadium it was, it was good. I actually got to go on the pitch and have a, have a sort of, not kick around but just join in with the, the sports scientists there and it's obviously it's an amazing stadium. Manager Jim Taylor has kept Solent's players grounded during a magnificent cup run in which they have conceded just one goal. He admitted they have great potential. The side is very good. Yeah, very good. Obviously, um, we're doing well at the moment, but um, it's full of talented players and yeah, we've got a good chance of going forward here. Yeah. I've not managed there, no, I've been at the final for about five or six times. It's a good day if you win. It's not, not so great if you lose, but um, yeah, I've been on both sides of that, so yeah, it could be an interesting day. We're generally quite a small side throughout and um, yeah, we do like to pass the ball and give it on the floor, so um, if the pitch is good, then usually we play well. Despite injury frustrations this season, midfielder Glody Nakander is set to feature at the Premier League Stadium for the first time since his spell at Fulham's Academy. I was lucky enough, I, when I was younger, I played for Fulham Academy, and then um, when I was about 15, 14, just um, didn't make the, the crop for the, um, the scholarship years. Um, I wouldn't say I'm lucky like Sam Biles and, and Jesse to then play for Arsenal's and Tottenham's, but um, I would say I play, a decent, I play that a decent standard of football at least. Craven Cottage, I've played that once for, but that was a school tournament. But um, no, nah, like this is the closest, um, I think, for a long time that I've been to play that professional ground. Buoyed by the success of Solent under Taylor, Nikander admitted the manager is open with the players about their far-reaching abilities. I think for us, the managers always draw it into us that um, this is the, the best team Solent. Um, have ever a team that have been for a while. But there's always back and flying about with the boys. I think in every team you're going to get your key players. Um, but definitely uh, Sam Biles, Jesse, Jamal, just to name a few, they never really talk about their experiences. Um, I think everyone's on like a level playing field. There's no one that has an ego at the side. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I'm used to like the big, massive um, Emirates Stadium and, and stuff like that. But we just literally can't wait to get out on a, on a like, world-class quality pitch. This has been Solent Sports Pulse News. Follow us on Twitter at Solent Pulse between now and the final for updates.